Hello dear students, welcome to the digital class. How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing good and I believe everything is going on well at your side. As I told you in the previous lesson, I am back again and now I am going to tell you an interesting story. Children, did you look at him? Could you recognize who is he? Yes, he is holding a stick and could not move properly. So these children are helping him and guiding him how to move here and there. So can you say who is he? Yes, he is a blind boy. Okay students, so we could understand how blind people move here and there. It's very difficult for them to walk, to run or to move here and there. Okay students, look at him. So he is feeling very difficult. If you look at him, we could understand how difficult for blind people to move here and there. Okay students, so in this unit, we have a story about the blind boy. So here, today I am going to tell you about this blind boy. You need to listen to it carefully and try to understand each and every step. Students, we must be very kind to differently abled people because we were blessed not to be like that. A blind boy sat on the steps of a building with a hat at his feet. He held up a signboard which said, I am blind, please help. Students, can you see him? Yes, beside him, he kept a signboard, I am blind, please help. And you can see his hat. Suddenly, one man was walking through that place and looked at the blind boy and started reading the board, I am blind, please help. The man took a few coins from his pocket and dropped them into the hat. Then do you know what did he do? Yes, he took the signboard and he turned it around. Then students look at him. Yes, he was writing something behind the signboard. Students, can you guess what he is writing? Yes, he is writing something which is very important. And then he put the signboard back so that everyone who walked by would see the new words. Students, did you look at the blind boy's face? Yes, he could feel little better because he could hear that he is getting more money. Why students, can you guess? Yes, before a man took his signboard and wrote something. He wrote some new words. Soon the hat began to fill up. A lot more people were giving money to the blind boy. Students, can you look at the hat? Yes, the hat is totally filled up with lot of money. Students, we too feel good when this blind boy is getting more money. Don't we? Yes. Oh, somebody walking towards him. Do you know who is he? That afternoon, the man who had changed the signboard came to see how things were. The boy recognized his footsteps and asked him. Were you the one who changed my signboard this morning? What did you write there? Babu, I only wrote the truth. I said what you said, but in a different way. I wrote... Students, don't you want to know what did he write there? If you want to know that, you need to watch the next. Students, now you are going to know what were the new words written by that man. Were you the one who changed my signboard? This morning, what did you write there? Babu, I only wrote the truth. I said what you said, but in a different way, I wrote. 
Today is beautiful day but I cannot see it. Yes. Students, now you came to know what did that man write? He wrote Today is a beautiful day but I cannot see it. Students, did you understand the meaning? Yes, the same meaning like I am blind please help but it was really in a different way. Both messages told the people that the boy was blind but the first one simply said that the boy was blind but the second one told the people that they were blessed not to be blind. Should we surprise that the second message was more effective? Yes, really the second message impressed a lot more of people and they started giving money. Students, if you observe the words are different but the meaning is same. So students, always we need to think differently. That's all for today. You all have a good day. Take care and bye-bye.